Hi everyone, this is the first look on Unreal Engine 5. Uh, it is already accessible in the Real Access and we can check it out now. Let's try to create some small projects in Unreal Engine 5. And we will see an in new UI. I think this is a really nice change. Even here in Unreal, in Unreal Project Browser we have a completely new UI, these different buttons and uh, different menus. Let's try to create a new game. Maybe we can open some previous game. Already created some games, but it looks the same. You choose the Blueprint or C++, it doesn't matter. But yeah, we just opened the previous demo. This one, open. And you see this is a new splash screen. I think it's not so big change, but it still looks new. Okay, and what we can see here, the main window uh, looks much bigger, and you have a lot of uh, provides more space to to changing something on your scene. Like you can moving around, and it's a little bit better and more space, much more space, I think. Okay. Uh, if you want to open the content, content drawer, you need to click, uh, you need to press Control Space again. You see, Control Space, and here you can click to open the content menu, but content menu looks absolutely the same. Okay, and when you click out of this content drawer, the menu is hide. Like click here, the content drawer is gone. Okay, and uh, if you look at the details of some of the actors on the scene, you see this is an old components on the same places, like in Unreal Engine 4, but with completely new UI. If we'll try to compare with the, old, with the Unreal Engine 4, I click on the component, and you see that looks a little bit different. Uh, but mostly the UI looks different, right? And we don't have these things uh, in the bottom because we have a new content drawer, not a content browser. And uh, we can scroll in these settings. We can choose something from here, new menus. And we can see this uh, components of this actor. They looks the same. This pop-ups looks the same like in Unreal Engine 4. Let's try to compare. Yeah, you see, this absolutely the same. And uh, they changed a little bit the world outliner, you see. This is eyes here to hide the object and we don't have this eyes. We, yeah, we have, actually we have them, but uh, they hide it by default. And if you, if you hover on them, you can see this eye. And they completely changed this menu. In the old version, they have these huge buttons, and uh, if you have a small screens, for example, and you or you want to open two different Unreal engines, you definitely don't have a space, and you need to hide one of them and open the full menu, and in, and you can reach them only by this uh, special button. Here you can to configure what you want, but in a new version, you have this bay and this button. And the same menu like in the old version, but only one button. You can click play. You can play. This is a new skybox, by the way, but it, it doesn't look like new, but they created something new. Maybe it's not configured to this version. But yeah. Okay, escape. And uh, they changed this is um, this menu. You see the modes. They changed it completely. They created the icons because here they don't have enough space here. But they removed all this bullshit and they create this more. They, this is a small icons, but they are much better organized here. And this uh, activates uh, selecting editing mode, uh, landscape foliage. Uh, Mesh painting, uh, chaos and uh, chaos system. I mean, and uh, uh, brush editing mode. This menu the same, and 
you can notice that they don't have a source control because the source control right now under the 80 and here you have a source control and you have same source control but but I think the button okay I click okay that works uh, accept settings disable source control in an old version you have a like a fun message like connect to the source control choose one of these and uh, accept settings and run without source control mm, nah, I don't like this button but yeah and uh, Unreal Engine 4 looks a little bit more vivid and not so dark but Unreal Engine 5 looks dark definitely looks dark and not so vivid okay and uh, let's look at the settings project settings uh, for example the input input the same the old icons okay this is a completely new UI and a lot of new features inside of the Unreal Engine 5 and we will check it later if you want you can subscribe on me and uh, I have a project in Unreal Engine 4 and definitely we will be migrate to Unreal Engine 5 and we will check what kind of problems we will be struggling with and maybe maybe it will be very smooth transition maybe not but I don't know and if you want to see that in future and you will be really interesting in I will create for you a new videos how we are migrating from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5 and uh, that's it for today thank you very much bye bye have a nice day